Hi guys, Steph here. Now, recently I've had a few sort of emails. Um, I've also had a message on YouTube from um, a, well, a lady by the name of Emmy. Um, and she said that her mother has got a Parker 75 Cicel. And she asked me quite simply um, what I'd advise to or how I would go about cleaning the pen. Now, this prompted me to take out and find my my own personal Parker 75 Cicel. And I thought, right, I'll bring it out and, well, let's give it a clean. Um, so, let's take it out of the out of the box. Incidentally, I'm not going to do a review on this pen because um, as you people are aware, I've already done a review. I'll leave you a link to the very top there um, later on so you can go and have a look at the review. Um, so let's just simply take the pen from the case. Let's pop that to one side. And there we have it. There's my own personal Parker 75 Cicel. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to simply give a few little tips on how to clean these pens. For you people that don't know, um, you'll see that the Cicel pens are, are actually, they have this sort of what we term as a cross hatch or some people call it a grid pattern. And also, if I take you up to the to the cap there and I twirl it round it says Parker um, on one side somewhere it says sterling silver and it also has the 925 sterling silver hallmarks these pens also if I look over the camera and try and find it I think it's there Okay, if I keep it nice and still, I'm hoping you can see there, it also has the 925 silver hallmarks as well. So nice and simply, the point I'm getting at is that this pen is sterling silver, um, which most 75 pens, or not most, uh, the Cicel pens generally are sterling silver. So how do we clean the pen? Now... This applies not only to the fountain pen, but it also applies, you can get these in a ballpoint, in a pencil, or to be quite honest with you, with any sterling silver Cicel fountain pen. Now, personally, I am a collector. I am not very much a writer. So this particular pen is in my collection. Um, I like to bring them out and admire them on occasions and I don't know how obvious it is but this pen is it's rather dull because it's been sat there in the box um, in my collection now I'm sure you people out there you'll find these particular pens out in the wild um, as Emmy said a mother's got one maybe a mother had it sat in a drawer for quite a while and she would now like to use the pen and she asked me as I said how do I clean the pen first and foremost in my opinion this is this is my my way of cleaning it um, some people may use a slightly different method but for me personally I would say do not use any kind of a cream, any kind of a silver polish. Reason being, it will get within um, the sort of the hatch or the grid pattern and possibly it may remove these black lines. Now the black lines, I believe when they made them, Parker used a enamel paint. I've also heard some people say that the, the black lines are actually the natural oxidisation of the silver. Now, for you people that may or may not know, um, the best way to keep silver nice and clean is to use it. Okay, such as, um, as you can see there, I've got a few bangles here. And these bangles here are worn and you can see that they're nice and clean. And what they do, the fact that I actually just simply wear them on a daily basis keeps them nice and clean. So, 
clean your Parker 75 and use it and that will keep it nice and clean. So how do we go about cleaning it? I have this cloth here okay let's take it out let's put the bag to one side and if I open it up you'll notice it's quite a dirty cloth it's what we term as a jeweler's cloth now this particular cloth I have had for many many years it's on it's actually been with me on my fountain pen journey for lots and lots of years and as you can see it's been well used so I use a jeweler's cloth and what we do nice and simply um, it's not rocket science I'm not sure if you can see to the very top there we can actually see some sort of natural oxidization some tarnishing of the silver so let's well let's start at the top let's give it a nice a nice wipe with our jeweler's cloth and there we go we can see already the tarnish is begin beginning to be removed and there we go just a little bit more left okay nice thing about it the lights that I'm using sort of shows the tarnish so it makes it nice and easy to see you know if there's anything that we've missed and there you go you can see on the cloth we're getting so the tarnish is obviously coming off and there we're not far from it I think let's give it another couple of wipes and I'd say that's pretty good another little tip um, I also use these cloths here this is actually a baby grow now what I actually do in the summertime when I go out to my car boot sales to look for pens and other things I pick these up they're very cheap I buy them by the bag they make excellent polishing cloths so if you can find any get some used or second hand baby grows um, they make excellent excellent polishing cloths okay so let's give that a bit of a polish and there we have it look how lovely that is there so what we can also do is if we get the cloth and actually use it on the barrel itself at this point so what I'm actually doing as you can see I'm just applying some very gentle pressure as I'm polishing and the fact that I'm using this particular cloth, this jeweler's cloth, and there you go again, there's all the tarnish coming off the pen. So we can actually see, we can physically see the dirt coming off, off the pen itself. So as I'm doing it, I'm obviously turning, turning the barrel, but it's not rocket science what I'm doing. As I say, again, there's the, the dirt coming off the pen we've got a jeweler's cloth this one of as I said I'm repeating myself I've had it years and years the the newer versions they, they have some sort of a polishing rouge impregnated into the cloth and that'll help to clean the tarnish from your silver pen as I say for me personally do not use any kind of creams do not use any kind of abrasive cream because Again, the cream will get in inside the the grid pattern, the hatch pattern, and it may remove the black the black lines inside. This cloth you can also use for the plated trim as well, like that. There you go. I can see already just a simple wipe over like that, and it's coming up lovely and shiny. So. How do we polish a Parker Cicel? Use a polishing cloth. Do not use creams. I wouldn't advise you to pop it in any kind of water, etc. Nice and simply, a polishing cloth is all you need. They're not expensive. Go and get yourself one. Give it a wipe over. Um, use your, your dry 
sort of cloth just to clean everything else just simply wipe it over again I'm repeating don't use any creams do not use any anything that's quite abrasive a simple rouge polishing cloth or jewelers polishing cloth it might take a little while give it a few wipes once you've wiped it clean it off with your clean um, cloth afterwards and what you'll have is a lovely lovely shiny pen and it'll get back to its original silver sort of color etc and at that, that point okay I'm, I'm sort of uh, contradicting myself but after that um, if you're a writer use your pen and the pen will stay in nice silver sort of condition or look if you like and it'll keep the tarnish away so what I'll do off off camera I'll carry on polishing this because well it's due for a clean anyway so we'll give it a nice clean and then afterwards I'll show you a before and after photograph and see if we can see the difference but for now what we'll do we'll keep it at that as I say I'll carry on finishing it um, at the very end I'll leave you the before and after picture I'll also leave you the link to go and have a look at this pen's review um, so I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen I hope it's I hope it's helped you as well Emmy on how to clean your mother's fountain pen don't forget subscribe leave a comment below don't be shy if you possibly can down below if you possibly can please support my work but for now i'll just say bye bye for now